So um I wasn't gonna do the Jap the, the the Japanese update or the JP update whatever you, whatever you prefer to go by for the game. I wasn't gonna do the update for it or like discuss the update for it because I didn't really think it was that big of a deal. But you know what? Since you guys love me making these update videos, why not? So <sighs> JP doesn't really have as many right now, anyways. But the one that they do have, I'm a little surprised about. I mean, I have him on global. I don't have, think I have him on JP, and if I do, he's not maxed out because my 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 teams are in limbo on on JP. Like I have good characters, but I don't have a team that's maxed out, or like have well not a team maxed out. Like not all my characters are maxed out like they are on global. So he got his limit break. Um, and you can summon for him. I don't know if it's the same version of him that's on global. Um, or not. I think it is. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I think it is. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to pull up his, um, JP or his global stats in a minute. Um, so you can, so I can show you a more in-depth look at what he is before he goes to, um, 7th star just because I have him on, um, global. But in case you want to see what it says here, here's his stats and whatnot. But I want to see what does he look like if we go on here. What is his limit break or like a seventh star look like? Can we get a? Can we get at least get a somewhat of a glimpse of it? N no, no, we're not gonna not gonna be able to you know get a get a glimpse of it. Can we? Can we see? Can we, can we, uh, is, is it is it gonna wanna you know let us uh uh you know see 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 what uh you know what it is? No, no. Okay, let's hop over to global real quick then. Okay, so I would say hopping over to global because that is what I'm doing. But as I went to do that, this came up, which I was not um this wasn't planned. But I'll still go over this real quick just so you guys can see it. But apparently. During the date of 2026-24 Japan Standard Time to the 2026, um, 26, or, so you, you can see the date on the screen for Japan Standard Time. Um, during that period, crest items for leveling up to 7 star characters were not obtainable as drop rewards uh, from Wizard King event, or Wizard King to event quest in the boss area of the event raid. For rate event veto attacks the beast of despair the issues have been resolved to compensate for the issues we will distribute ap large medicines in medicines in proportion to the number of times they completed the affected quest within the aforementioned period next okay so so yeah now did are they dropping it for me do i have any no i don't that's not an issue either i've i've got plenty of them I have got plenty of them. Okay, so not anyways, let me go over and pull up the character stats for the character that I'm talking about. Because I have him on global and I'll show you what I mean because I'll <laughs> look at all of these characters. Now, I need to go on glo or on JP and maybe make a video in the future of like grinding out an absolute crap ton because like I have all these characters maxed out whether it's maxed out at five stars or maxed out six stars i would say seven stars but i don't have any seven stars in global because i just prefer you know not to because i can play the game without them jp is where i'll i'll keep that stuff at for now anyways if i find a character i want you know like maybe the anniversary unit um but anyways let's just get to hopping over to the where the to that character where is he right here so let me just do this so this right here is the character that just got um, awakened for 7 star on JP, but on global I have his stats. So let me just go over his stats and abilities for you in his formation, so that way if you pull him and you want to know what he looks like and if he's worth going to you know 7 star, this video is for you. So his power as a 6 star, keep in mind this is all 6 stars, 
or a st six star stat. His power is 1000 um, and 11. His role is a defender. His HP is 3517. His attack is 300 or is 312. Defense is 376. Um, special defense is 190. Wisdom is 180. Luck is 250. Um, is that is that, is that it for there? And then awakening abilities, and then status effects and relics and all of that. Okay, so abilities. Arcane are an, which is an attack. Oh, um, attack range is just it's not the greatest for range, but it damages two times large to an enemy and damages three times large with formation match. AOM is a link skill. Um, your magic doesn't work on me. Raises your own hate for a, a extra large a slightly long amount of time, but it lowers A1 participants' hate for a slightly long amount for a small to slightly long amount of time. AB um, one, which is a toughness range. Sorry, I was saying a drink there, which is me mean me mean armor, which raises own defense for your large to short amount of time. Shields allies from all damage for a long amount of time um, And then AB2 is harp which ranges just all over all over the board um, Which is a multi hit for medium random to medium range for um, enemies I don't know why I have trouble reading these sometimes, but I do um, And then AB3 is Phoenix robe continuously restores um, own HP for two times large um, to short amount of time, which is insane insane and then obviously the formation is it's a six star which is actually really good so like I, For his for him It's a, it's, it's a back and forth for him. Oh, am I gonna sneeze? Oh I thought I was gonna sneeze there. Are we good? Okay, I think we're good. So, um, for him, he's an easy character to get. He is, because you can get him in pretty much anything. You can get him in any banner, because he's, I'm pretty sure you can get him in any banner. You can get him with skip tickets, or not skip tickets, sorry, phantom sheets, or, um, the summon tickets. And he's basically like a beginner unit to get. He's like one of those characters that are just there to get easily whenever you play the game, whether you're starting off or, you know, even playing for whatever. So, for them to give him a 7 star is, I would say, is pretty good. Because if you're new to the game and you just pull them, you're like, okay, what do I go for me to get a, for like getting a strong unit? I would definitely go for him. Now he's not like the most broken unit, but if you want an easy seven star to get, and I don't, and I guess I wouldn't say easy because it still takes a minute to grind up the um, phantom tech or sheets or uh, evolution sheets, whatever you call them. But he's still a viable defender, and he does have a good formation. So like, I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you want a good one to try to start off getting, that's easier than most um, seven stars to be able to get. I would go for him, but at the same time, if you want better units, I would just hold off. If you already have him, then I would just go for it, because most people probably already have him. But that's going to do it for this video, guys, and <laughs> my insane collection of characters on Global. But I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.